Hey guys, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about drums and samples and layering. I hope you enjoy it. So I'm using the 70s kit from Abbey Road. There are actually two. There is this one and this one. I can't remember the names. One is open. Look at it. One is open. One is tight. So I'm just going to look for a reggae groove. All right, let's use that one. Okay, so with this drum here alone, it sounds like this. Right, and then I'm going to add this one, which sounds like this in solo. So when I join the two of them, notice the both of them on media channel one. I combine the two of them to sound like this. And if I want, I could go in, change and change that snare reverb I think it's on this one get it a little tighter alright let's try another groove Right, let's try that one. Put that in the second bar. The second bar. Right. So basically, <coughs> the tight one, this, this tight kit, there is an element there that is missing from this kit this one is a lot brighter a lot area i'm not as aware but has more air so i will combine kits together just to get a different sound so in a mix or in a song it will sound something like this <laughs> As a pose, if I just use one, well, that sounds good too. Let's try this one alone now. But there is something with the both of them together. So you can try stacking drums, I stack drums, I stack pads, um, synths, everything basically. Um, um, there's no rules, you can just stack anything you want and if it sounds good, it sounds good. Nobody knows that they're going to say you stack like five kicks in the song that's against the rule, I'm hearing the difference. Nobody's going to care about it. So uh, my advice is just stuck away. Once it sounds good, once it's not overly done. So I hope you enjoy and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.